I've never really loved it here in my hometown. I've been blessed with such a wonderful family, but parts of growing up here were very difficult for me. I never felt like I belonged, and I had to either be bold enough to stand out or become small enough to blend in, and I chose the latter. I felt like I didn't have the resources to flourish, and I discovered hidden parts of myself when I went to college, and especially when I studied in New Zealand. That's when I fell in love with finding myself through exploring new places. But now I'm here again. This isn't the first time Mike and I have said to ourselves, once we do this next step, everything will change and we will finally be happy. And maybe that works temporarily, but then the cycle continues. I truly wasn't expecting us to be here as long as we have been. I told myself that when summer starts, I want to finally be moving on. And it seems like now, we're going to be here even longer. And there's nothing wrong with that. But in my head, I have these vast dreams, and I'm constantly told I need to slow down. There's an entire journey within myself that needs to take place before I can move on. I'm learning more and more what I need to do in order to enjoy my life here. And what that really means is I need to enjoy life as myself instead of basing my happiness on where I am or who I surround myself with. And feeling kind of stuck in a place I don't want to be has really opened my eyes to that. It was supposed to be such a cloudy day today, but it ended up being like the sunniest, most gorgeous day. It's pretty awesome. I'm realizing that I'm trying to rush myself so that I can be in a better environment that's new and exciting for me. This environment I've been in for most of my life, it's not that new and exciting anymore. I can't rely on those external sources to make me happier. I need to focus on my internal happiness first. I have this adventurous heart that just wants to keep going. But part of it might be fear of being stagnant. I think I'm worried that if I'm still, that means I have to face my demons. I want to have experiences and grow and bloom, but you can't have flowers without tending to the seeds. Not to say I won't go on adventures here and there, but I'll never be this version of myself again. So instead of rushing this healing process, I really want to take this time to enjoy where I'm at and enjoy the process of healing. So I think I'm at peace with being here right now and learning and growing and doing everything I need to to focus on and be happy and at peace with my internal self before I go off to my next adventure and before I ignore those parts of myself again that need my attention and need healing. The swans in the water are absolutely stunning. They're just so big and graceful. There's a lot to love about this place, I'm gonna be honest.
This desire to love healing and love where I am doesn't come without challenges. I have been on a journey to open my heart up again and allow it to stay open. A closed heart comes from protecting ourselves from pain. And over time, it prevents us from loving the same way we used to before. Lately, I've been pausing more and asking myself, is my attention on loving or is my attention on who isn't loving me? When my attention is on what I lack, I can feel how it affects my life. It has kept my heart blocked for so long. My desire to please others has run my life. And the older I get and the more I heal and grow, the less I care what others think of me. Now I'm very conscious of the choices I make and I'm working to make love my intention as often as possible. Something that has given me the freedom to open my heart has been creating without the intention of sharing it. I've been making simple little paintings like this one, just to really absorb my favorite moments these days. Not because people want me to paint, or to win the hearts of people who don't care what I do. And I love them. This has been a little personal project that is just for me, that I can keep in my journal because I love to do it, and no other reason than that, just my pure love for creating. After graduating college a couple years ago, Mike and I backpacked around Europe for a month. We traveled from country to country with my new instant film camera going to major cities. It didn't take long for us to realize that our favorite places were parks and green spaces and the culture hiding quietly in the corners, rather than the loud, lively cities themselves. Our favorite was definitely Scotland walking around the empty, cobblestone streets and visiting the Highlands and Loch Ness. We laughed about it, saying that, knowing ourselves, it should have been obvious that we would have preferred more hiking and nature over shopping. But we had an amazing time nonetheless and found that discovering hidden gems and experiences when trying to find quiet in the cities made it so much more memorable. Looking back at these pictures reminded me that I have experience with being somewhere and finding things to love that I wasn't expecting. Because it's not about where you are, it's all about your attitude and mindset. So I wanna view every day here as an adventure. It doesn't have to be a trip to Europe to be a cherished moment in time.
with that. Man, there's two planes. This one's the loudest though. This isn't the first time that Mike and I have said, once we take this next step, why are you watching? <laughs> I hate it. This isn't the first time that Mike and I have said, once we take this next step, everything will change. And oh my God, that train is so loud. You can't run away from your problems. I have this adventurous heart that just wants to You can't... <laughs> you can't run away from your problems. I have this adventurous heart that just wants to keep going. Oh my God. <laughs> It's gone. <laughs> it could be anywhere, unless it's right here, it's gone. Hmm. So the little switch to turn my microphone on and off has been falling off. And I dropped it um, somewhere here. Where everything looks the same. gone forever. Had a good run. Not really. <laughs> this thing's been falling off pretty consistently. I wouldn't call it a good run. I'd call it poor design. Well, we tried. Notice too. But did you take it off before? No, literally the entire time we've been walking around, I've been like checking it, making sure it's there. So when was the last time you saw it? It's gone. <laughs> Found a piece of sea glass. That's nice. Makes it all better.